Hey, and welcome back to Mario and Sonic in the Winter Olympics. Today we start day 11 with training for Ski Cross. Ski Cross. Okay, Ski Cross is basically the equivalent of the Snowboard Cross, but with skis. Okay. It's about, that's what I can relate it to. It's basically a mix of the downhill giant slalom with the snowboard racing. Does that make sense? It should. The ski cross again. Players race to the finish as fast as they can. Let's learn the controls. As usual, we have the 3, 2, 1, go starting boost. One, go. I did it again. Swing the remote and nunchuck upwards as you jump a platform to jump for a speed boost. But you don't get tricks. You do not get tricks. So don't try and pull tricks off. Crouch for extra speed on straightaways by tilting the remote and nunchuck forward. Down, down. Adjust the cor to the course slopes by tilting the remote and nunchuck forward to speed up without jumping. Basically, you want to you want to go with the flow and try not to get airborne on those little jumps there. Come on, yeah, flew over the goal. Ready to train, let's go. Catch up to the flying chow. Flying along the course and beat it to the goal. Sounds easy enough. Three, two, one, go! Chow starts a little bit far farther ahead of you on the course. But you should <laughs> you should be able to start winning by the start beating it by the first jump. Come on. And this is a timed event, so the faster your time is, the more points you get for the training. Come on. Turn, man. And you can adjust your, your character in the air to get ready for the next curve. Ah, man, I destroyed that chow. Two points, not bad. Oh, that was really good. With results like that, you should do fine in matches. Yeah. There are two events left for today. What should we try next? Well, let's do the curling, curling training. This is one of the more interesting games in this game. And the, the training, I mean, if it's the first time you're doing it, the training helps, but after that, once you get down, once you get down how to do this, it's all strategy, and, oh boy, it's, it's just, it's just all strategy once you get, get down how to do it. This is one of the longer games, too. Okay. And curling, teams try to throw their stones into the house. Means you want to you want to slide your your little puck things into the target. The red and blue circles at the end of the rink. Points are worth for your stones get, stones getting closer to the middle of the target than your opponents. Stones that don't get into the target or that are pushed out of the target do not earn points. After both teams throw, points are awarded to the team closest to the house, to the middle of the target at the end of the round. Okay, controls. Okay, the person. In the back, which would be Luigi at the moment, decides which direction the stone should be thrown. As, as that person, point the screen to move the arrow mark in the direction you'd like the stone thrown. For this, basically, well, I'm, for this first one, I'm going to try and get it dead, dead, dead in the middle. So that's close enough. When you're ready, press A to adopt a throwing position. You can press B to go back to passing again. So you can do it if you if you flick the Wii remote without hitting A like I'm doing right now. It'll show you how fast and where where your uh, your stone will land. But once you hold A, that's when you start. Now you swing the Wii remote to throw the stone. The harder you throw it, the farther it will travel. Twist the Wii remote while sliding along with the stone. To determine how much spin to add to the throw. Now I just want it to go straight. You can have ex. ex when you cross the red line, you'll release the stone. Make sure the Wii remote is flat as you cross the stone. 
You can have extreme left, slightly left, straight, extreme right, or slightly right. Next comes sweeping. Shake the Wii remote to sweep the ice. The faster you shake, the harder the characters will sweep. Adjust your sweeping to regulate the stone speed so it stops right in the center of the house. Depen depending on how much you sweep, you can actually make it go farther than you actually threw it, or shorter. That, that thing on the right tell you approximately where it will land. But after a while, it goes away, but the, the meter still changes. So you gotta guess towards the towards the last third of the of the lane, you have to guess how much you need to sweep. If you can throw your stone close to the center of the house, you'll earn points. See, so now they're gonna give us a pr four practice throws, and we need to get at least two in there. Yeah. We're gonna get we're probably gonna get all four in, four in there. Which you need to do to get the four training points. Yep. Mainly, my strategy is, like, my strategy is to, like, it doesn't really matter to me how hard I throw it, because I can manipulate the sweeping enough, that I, I can manipulate the sweeping good enough to land it exactly where I want it. So it doesn't really matter how hard I throw it. So I'm just going to try and land all four of these in the circle here. Yeah, that's probably where I want to land. You won't see me curve it that much. You won't. You're not going to see me curve it on this practice thing. But once the computers start putting crap in my way, you'll see the you'll see the curve mechanic because the computers purposely put stuff put the put their put their rock put their stones in the way for strategy purposes. Okay, Sonic, you kind of want to throw a little bit farther than the target. Just so we can launch the... Th eh. That'll work. Okay, guys. Let it slow down a bit. That's good. Okay, that should be good. That should be good. Yeah, land right there. Right there. Whenever it does this practice thing, I try to at least try to land all four of the rocks, at least touching the red, all the four of the stones touching the red, just to see if I can do it. Just wait till we get to, just wait till we get to dream curling. That one's fun. It's basically curling and bowling all wrapped up into one. All four of them in the red. Good job, guys. Nailed it. Finish. Training completed. Four points. Good job, guys. We're gonna have to do that two more times because there's the actual match, and then there's the uh. Then there's a rival battle, which is curling. That was great, Iggy. You're ready for anything. Now just put that to work in the matches. Now it's time for the last event of the day. Good luck! Just dream gliding. Does it involve the nunchuck? Yeah, it does. Okay. Might as well go over the instructions. Or at least the controls. Tilt the control stick down to ascend. To ascend and to, so up to go. So you tilt it down to go up and up to go down. And then left and right to go right. It's sort of like sort of like airplane controls. It's it's inverted. Shake the Wii remote to do a reverse to to do a like a like a 180. If you pass so you can pursue targets that point you. Press A to throw a green shell. Use B to use items. Okay, the point of this game is to score as many points. There are a bunch of red and yellow Eggman robots flooding all over this arena, and you want to try to shoot as many down as you can before the time runs out to get points. But also Here's the other thing. You want to try and shoot down your opponents, too. Shooting down your opponents gets you more points than shooting down the Eggman robots. Okay. So, while you're doing that, you want to try and shoot down your opponents, too. Like, you want to vigorously go after your opponents. And I've gotten some mixed results with this. I won once, and then I didn't win one. And I got, like... See? You want to hit the, you want to hit the robots... 
with your, see your little reticle will aim onto them. But you also want to, come on, get knuckles, come on. You also want to shoot up, shoot the other other players. Come on, lock on to Peach, get Peach, get Peach. Go down, come on, get her, get her. Come on. Tornado. I'm in third, I need to shoot somebody. On. Need to shoot somebody. Come on, shoot Mario. Get Mario. Yes. Oh man, I <laughs> pulled that out in the end. They got Knuckles and then they got Mario for 20 quick points. First. Good job, man. Because Ma Mario was in the lead for that for an incredibly long time of that. Then I got then I got him and Knuckles down. That's what let me win. Mario. Mario, get you next time. Mario, get you next time. Congratulations! First medal. First medal. Yay! No, it's not time for a break. It's only 10:30. Well, maybe. Maybe I will stop recording after this day. I am getting my arm is my arm is getting really, really, really tired. It's starting to hurt. Both of them actually now. What can I say? When it comes to grace and style, I've got you beat, hands down. Why don't you show how it's done in a match? I don't really have a good rouge voice. I'm not I Well one, because I'm not a girl, and two, I'm not a seductive girl. Not even a seductive guy. Here I come. Good for you. Now you can watch this if you want, but it pretty much does the same thing. I really don't like watching this. All right. She basically scores between 52 and 55 points every time. I mean, actually, actually, no, 52 and 58, actually. And all you have to do is beat her to win. But, you know, you want to go for style and get as many points as you can to get more points off the rival battle. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've. Yeah, there's no way I don't got this. And jump. Too early. Yeah, I saw that. There, got it. Spin, 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 spin. I like spinning around and flicking my rear remote. Come on, come on. Stay on the line, man. Yeah! I can get 100 points on this. Yep, there we go. Good job, guy. Good job, man. 
Yep, 100, there we go. <laughs> 100, 100. And this should be the last one. Yep, three, two, one, up. Good job, 117-1. Blew her out of the water. Yay! <laughs> More than double drop. Well, I'm doing much better than than I did on my first one run. And my first my first one I only lost three events. 145 points. The twelfth day. The twelfth day. Hello, Iggy. Original performance really amazed me yesterday. We're nearing the end of the festival now. Let's check out the results as of today. Olympic events. Well, I've won all six. Dream events. I've won all four. Total points. I'm destroying Mario. And Sonic. 145 to 164. Congratulations. You're in first place. Only five more days left. The overall championship is within your reach. I could lose every other event and probably still win. Yeah. There are two matches in one tra- uh, wrong voice. There are two matches in one training session today. The dream event is apparently being held at Eggman's base. Yeah. Good luck today. Well, next time, and probably on a different day for me, since my arm hurts, my arms hurt too bad, we are going to do Day 12, which includes training for moguls, the snowball cross event, and the dream short track at Eggman's base. So, see you next time.